Good morning, good day, and good night wherever you may be. I hope everyone is doing well. I am not a video game person, but if you have a taxia or something similar to where your nervous system has been affected, you must try Fit XR, which is a game on the Oculus Quest 2 VR headset. The Oculus 3 has just been released and is much better, but I personally use the Oculus Quest 2 because I already own the Oculus 2. I use the Oculus 2 almost every day with Fit XR since I got diagnosed with ataxia. Get moving with workouts that are super fun and engaging. This is Art Thomas, and I have acquired ataxia. Welcome or welcome back to living with ataxia. I mainly use Fit XR on days I don't go to the gym. Again, I go to the gym three days a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Fit XR is a high intensity workout that wants you to stand but do not. Sit down when engaging in Fit XR. I can't stress this enough on sitting down, especially for those that have ataxia. Fit XR is really good in helping people with coordination. The Oculus offers a lot more than Fit XR, but when it comes to fitness, I think it beats its competitors. If you encourage a different workout virtual reality VR, please let me know in the comments. Also, links to Fit XR are in the description. Fit XR are VR workouts that are fun and offer real results when done diligently. FitXR has five different VR environments to choose from which are box, dance, hit, sculpt and combat. I mostly use box and hit to help my coordination, and they seem to do extremely well when sitting down. Another good thing about FitXR or the Oculus in general is you don't have to be anywhere special. You can do it from your room or house. Another thing about FitXR is that it's always changing. For example, there are seven new classes a week to try. Try them all and all workouts to find ones that best fit you. You can also work out with friends or with other people. When working out with other people it offers up to six people at a time to exercise with, and it includes a voice chat so you can communicate with each other. Now, the voice wouldn't do me that much good since I'm having trouble talking. Hence why I have the computer speaking for me. You may ask, how do you exercise with others? You compete against each other online. The music that FitXR offers really helps to engage you. Speaking of engaging you, you can also choose where you work out in your VR world. I had an office when I was able to work, but now I use that space to do my workouts. This is where I use FitXR. You can't use the Oculus headset for long because the battery life is horrible, and it's not good to use for a long period anyway. Boxing in FitXR is super fun and can help with coordination. Combat is also good in Fit XR, but I personally don't use it much. I also do HIT exercises in Fit XR. HIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training. HIT is a workout I highly suggest for anyone and especially good for those with ataxia. It can help with a range of things, but especially for those that have bad coordination. With HIT on Fit XR, when you have the headset on, you will be hitting the markers along with some other things. See video because I hope this helps. Do Fit XR using beginner level unless you feel comfortable using higher levels. I'm hoping this can help everyone. I encourage everyone to share your improvements because I know they work. Prove people wrong on what you can and cannot do with ataxia. Keep pushing forward and stay positive. If I can prove people wrong, so can you. You will get better, but it doesn't happen quick. It's so important to get this content out there because most people including some doctors do not know anything about ataxia. Ataxia is the number one disease that no one has heard about. This channel will also help people with other neurological disorders. Please help the channel out and bring awareness to ataxia, which is extremely rare, by pressing that like button, sharing this video, subscribing to the channel, and click that bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. It's all free and thank you.